Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create a GCP cloud source repository, clone the repository, commit the code changes and push the code from local using the manually generated credentials. I have logged into my Google Cloud account. Now let's create the cloud source repository. Click cloud source repositories. Click go to cloud source repositories. Click get started. Click create repository. We have two options. One is creating a new repository. Another one is connect to an external repository which is hosted in either GitHub or Bitbucket. So for this demo purpose, we are going to create a new repository. So click create new repository and then click continue. So we need to give a repository name. So I'm going to give the name as scenery and the project, my first project, then click create. The repository is getting created. Now we have two options to add the code to the repository. One is push the code from a local Git repository. Another one is clone this repository to a local Git repository, then commit the code to it and then push the changes to the uh, new cloud source repository. For this demo purpose, we are going to clone this repository to a local Git repository and then commit some code to it and then push the code to the uh, cloud source repository. Also we have three different authentication method using which we will be able to push the code to the uh, cloud source repository. One is SSH authentication, another one is Google Cloud SDK and the third one is manually generated credentials. For this demo purpose we are going to generate credentials manually and use it. First click generate and store your git credentials. First we need to authenticate with our Google account. Click allow. So copy the content. Let's create a new script.sh file and copy the content to it. Save the file. Let's give it the necessary permission. Now let's execute the script. So we have executed the script. Close this. So the next step is we need to clone this particular repository. So that is the next step. We'll do a git clone. Yes. Source dot developers dot google dot com. And then we need to provide the project name, which is it, the civil keyword 395016. And then with the repository name, which is scenery. So it gives a message you appear to have cloned an empty repository. Yes, the repository was empty. We have cloned an empty repository now. So we have got into the repository. The next step what we need to do is we need to add some code to this empty repository so already i have my code in another folder so which i am going to copy here so i have copied the all the content except the public folder so now i am going to create a public folder here Now I'm going to copy all the content of the public folder also to this public folder. So now all the files copied including the folder CSS. So we have all the file copied here. First, let's add all the files. Git add. Let's see the do a git status. So all these files are going to get added when we do a commit. So let's do a git commit. Now 
now let us push the changes git push minus u region main so the files what we have in the local is getting pushed to the newly created cloud source repository all the files have been successfully pushed to the main branch of the newly created cloud source repository let's review that in the ui let's refresh click head main so we could see all the files which we committed in the local git repository has been successfully pushed to the cloud source repository as part of this demo we have seen how to create a new cloud source repository how to manually generate credentials and then using the credentials how to clone the repository commit files to the repository and push the code to the newly created cloud source repository if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo